Hi, everybody. I'm Rob Sabin, the Editor-in-Chief at Projector Central, and I'm here with Mark Major from Hisense to talk about what's in the Hisense virtual booth at Projection Expo. Mark, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me, Rob. Appreciate it. Good. Thank you. So, you know, I have to just start out here by, by talking a little bit about Hisense and its role in uh, what we now like to call the living room UST or living room TV, uh, projection TV category, mm -hmm. uh, because I actually, I recall attending uh, the very first uh, Hisense uh, laser TV press conference in New York City. That's going back a few years now. Uh, and you guys were virtually alone uh, with this type of product in the United States at that time. And now here we are, it's a few years later, uh, you've got like close to a dozen competitors. So uh, clearly it's an emerging category and uh, you all were the pioneers in, in this particular space. Um, so now I know that the product that we're talking about today is the, the L5 series. So uh, why don't you give us a little bit of an overview of uh, what, that, uh, what that product is like? Well, our L5 series is a single laser, traditional UST, obviously the Texas Instrument DLP chip inside of it. But we take a little different uh, twist on it versus our competitors. We provide a complete solution. So it isn't just the box, the UST. We're also matching it up with a perfectly engineered screen, whether a hard screen or soft screen, to maximize the performance of the L5. Right. So and really, you you are at this point, uh, there's only one other manufacturer who's taken your lead on providing the screen. And, and I can say from personal experience that it's a really, really critical aspect of getting the right performance out of these projectors uh, in the ambient light room. Uh, so this is a hundred inch uh, uh, ambient light rejecting UST screen, right? That, that is correct. It's a 100-inch screen, and it comes in two different flavors. It comes in a Fresnel, and it comes in a lenticular, so a hard screen or soft screen. And how we like to position it is one of the products is really designed for the living room. The traditional, we call that laser TV, right? That's how it's designed. You play it in my living room, your living room, because I don't have a dedicated theater room. I have a family room slash living room. And then we have what's called laser cinema. That's for more of a place that has lighting control, right? The ability to to make it a little bit darker room. It doesn't have to be jet black. We're not saying that. But if you have blinds that you can close or, you know, it's a not as bright a room as some traditional living room, because I don't know about you, my living room has three giant windows in it. So right. I need something that's going to be able to perform in that environment. It's not like that TV set is down in my basement and behind closed doors, different animal altogether. So again, laser TV is what is best for my living environment versus, I don't know, maybe based on what I'm seeing behind you, you could get away with laser cinema. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, you know, the, uh, now the laser cinema product, that is basically yeah. the 120 inch version of this, right? Well, it's a 120 inch and hundred inch. It's really the screen. I see. It's the screen. The soft screen performs better in a more lighting controlled environment. And the hard screen is really designed for more, like I said, my traditional living room environment uh, because my room, I don't have lighting control in it. So it's a bright room. I see. Okay. So you actually get a choice of the type of screen that you want to made up with the projector, you're saying? That, that is correct. So and it's really, you just have to ask yourself one question. Am I watching it in the living room or do I have a dedicated room with lighting control? And if it's, I have a, have a living room, it's the hard screen, which we call laser TV. And if I have a dedicated room, maybe like yourself, then it's laser cinema. Sure. Now, now, one of the nice things about the L5, which I know, you know, basically followed your L10 uh, series, uh, which was a much larger product. Uh, this is right. a really, really sleek, compact uh, projector, very, very tight uh, throw distance to the screen. You don't need a lot of room to set this up with a 100 or 120 inch screen, do you? No, that's, you know, that's the benefit really of all these products today, the USTs. It's like you can basically have a credenza, like I can see behind you, against the wall, put the projector right on top of it, and there's your 100-inch or 120-inch, you know, picture. It's it's fabulous. Very short, well, again, very short throw distance, right? Yeah, and 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 actually, I, I can say that uh, from my study of the category, among the products, uh, it's one of the tightest distances uh, that's available out there. I know it's only about uh, seven and a half inches from the back of the projector to the screen for your 100-inch image. Uh, right. or, or a little less than 14 inches uh, for the 120, um, which is, it, it, you know, it gets you, uh, it allows you to place that projector without having to pull that credenza too far out from the wall. 
which I think people really do appreciate. You know, they don't want to have a disruptive uh, installation in, in their living room. Right. So, because most people are still remembering the traditional projector, where they're mounting it from the ceiling, or I put it on a maybe my coffee table, but you can't have the kids walking in front of that, right? So this is just a better application. Sure. All right. So let's talk a little bit about some of the other features uh, that are in there. I, I do know that you guys have a streaming platform uh, built right into the projector, right? Yes. Yeah. We use Android TV for our streaming platform, and then on top of that. You know, one of the things I really impressed about it is that our laser light engine uh, is 20, ready for 25,000 hours, which is approximately 25% longer than most of our competition. That's really unique. And then obviously we're going to do HDR and we have DVX TV built into it for enhanced sound performance too out of the product. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes with its own sound system as well that I believe it's, is that a, a, a 30 watt uh, speaker that is correct. system? Yeah. 30 watt yeah. speaker system. Yeah, so that's that's pretty robust. Uh, then you don't necessarily need to add anything else to uh, to the projector to have a, a nice experience. Uh, right. I mean, movies with. but if you want to, it is you know completely compatible with co- like Control Four. So who's the largest brand of the control brands out there for you know residential use, anyways? So it can be expanded upon if you want to. Now the Android TV platform, um, you know, we have noticed that uh, a lot of the projectors that have started to use that uh, don't really have any sort of Netflix capability, which is obviously very important to consumers. Uh, but I think yours does. Am I yes. right about that? Yes, yes, it does. Plus, you also you have all these different apps you can use because of the Android TV on top of it, which is really good. Over was it over a thousand apps, anyways, to start off with. So it's. Um, you know, Android TV is also used in a couple of our other competitors, too, to your point. And uh, we like it. It's stable. Yeah. Uh, and, and absolutely, um, the, the apps are very effective. They, they work. You get your full 4K resolution. And right. uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a really nice platform. Um, and it's Google, right? So you get Google right. Assistant uh, right. voice control with it. That is correct. Google Assistant and Alexa. Both mm-hmm. for control, voice control. It mm-hmm. depends on what, what platform works best for you know the user, obviously. Sure. All right. Well, let's see. What else can we What else can we say about it? Uh, are there safety features built in? I know that's something that's uh, well, yes, important to people gets, with small children. That is very. That's a good lead. I like that. So yeah, we do have the eye protection that's built right inside the our UST. So if a child gets too close, the laser light gets defeated, so that nobody gets the laser directly in the eye. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. I know our viewers will as well. And uh, uh, we look forward to uh, having you at the expo. Thank you.